get any a4 size paper yeah a4 size paper like earlier what we said was out of a4 size paper you can cut into four pieces now we'll use one full a4 size paper right are you ready guys nitin jain sixth grade very nice nitin you all have got paper with you does everybody have a paper okay i'm going to tell you all the story of uh, japanese you know the japanese screen what is japanese screen about shall we start shall i start the story now see this in japan in 1945 6 august 1945 there was a huge bombing on hiroshima there was a small girl 2 years old Sadako Sasaki So this Sadako Sasaki because of this bombing an atomic bomb which was dropped down there she was infected lot many people were infected but particularly we know of the story of a girl who was infected and was treated with blood cancer she was moved to the hospital doctors were treating her she was 2 years old then she was moved to the hospital doctors were treating her some of friends came up and told her that if you fold 1000 cranes she will be free of all her problems now this girl see she believed it and she started folding the cranes on 25th october 25th October 1955 yeah 25th October 1955 she folded about 650 cranes but then she died all the family members her friends came together and they folded the remaining birds government of japan built up a big monument in her name and till date like what we see people rushing down at uh, siddhi vinayak temple and buying garlands i heard i have not been to japan yet i have heard people buying garlands of 1000 cranes and offering there so till date the crane has got a very huge value and uh, people consider that this is a very good what you can say uh, very good effect you know the cranes will have good effect on what rule and will rule out whatever is bad so i think today for us also it is very appropriate that we fold the 1000 cranes and we wish that the problems not only just for you and me in the sitting at home in the house has problem but our full india our full country the full globe has got some problem so those problem can be ruled out wiped out by folding 1000 cranes i think all of you put together cranes will work out much more right so take a piece of a4 paper and we want to make it into square okay square you know how we make a square we will fold it into a triangle from one point we will fold it down like this right are you getting it so make a triangle over here and then fold this edge okay fold it like like this you don't have to most of the people what they do is they pass it through their tongue lip paper don't pass it out because the paper will get messy just try to make the edge sharp over here edge sharp and you can easily cut this paper right what is square paper is that clear did everybody get a square paper now everybody got a square paper done after this fold vertical fold you will fold in the other direction as well so right now you can see fold in both the directions vertical as well as horizontal yeah 
had gone to a municipal school where one boy taught me differently how to fold this he says he told me pehle gunakar means multiplication right and then turn the paper around paper ulta karke adhik karo adhik means what addition so pehle gunakar कागज पलट के अधिक वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल गाइस दिस हैज टू बी डन ऑन डिफरेंट साइड्स इट कैन नॉट बी फोल्डेड ऑन द सेम साइड इफ यू फोल्ड इट ऑन द सेम साइड इट विल नॉट वर्क एज वेल व्हाट इज सपोज्ड टू वर्क राइट सो गॉट इट फर्स्ट डायगोनल फोल्ड्स एज वी सेड then the diagonal fold from both the directions yeah go ahead then you turn the paper around and give a horizontal fold open the paper and turn the paper around and give another horizontal fold you are not supposed to fold paper one above the other no we are not folding it as a kerchief right you have to fold like this did you get it let me see some thumbs up yeah kashvi are we ready with this oh great very nice good i need to see such thumbs up yeah okay so now we proceed further so as we saw one side with the diagonal folds we rotated the paper around turn the paper around and then we did horizontal and vertical folds now what we are going to do is see this looks like a, a structure right we collapse the structure like this yeah yeah okay nitin jain i'll repeat it as we saw making paper is not making a square is not very difficult everyone knows how to make square isn't it not very difficult at all so after the square first there was one triangle we did another triangular fold we turned the paper over and then we did horizontal fold and we did vertical fold right and from this side only wherever the vertical now see these top edges are called mountain folds yeah if these are mountain folds what are these folds called these recessed folds are called what these are mountain folds what are these folds called what should they be called can i get an answer if these are mountain folds what are these folds what will this fold be called yes can i get some response okay let's proceed further they will be called valley fold right if this is mountain opposite is valley okay what fold river fold river is basically is called valley fold okay fine good try good try yeah that's right nitin jain very right you can't see me why do you say so okay now after you fold this you try to collapse this paper close to each other like this and fold it in this manner okay this top edge is closed just remember always remember the top edge is closed this portion is open just check for yourself this is an open edge and this is a closed edge right 
Now, with this open edge, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this portion closer over here. Like this triangle. I'm showing you from your I'm showing you from your side. Like this. Okay. This is the closed edge and these are the open edges. So you have folded both these things out here. Turn the paper around and similarly fold this also. So that this, this edge is aligned with this vertical edge. Can you get this? Can you get this? This we have folded here on both the sides. The rear side also we have folded inside. Yeah. Okay. Now, what does it look like? Come on, kids. Guys, everybody knows what does what does this look like? I want to know. I want to know your answer from you. What does this look like? Yanandini, what does this image look like? Does it look like an ice cream cone? Yeah. So we will gobble the ice cream now. We'll eat up the ice cream and give it a fold here. Diamond. Yeah, okay. But it's more like an ice cream. I am very, I always like to eat, you know. Kite, yes. And flower. We will fold on both the sides. Okay. Now the ice cream vanished. Cone, very right, correct. Only the cone is left now. Ice cream is vanished. And pull this up. This we are going to give a crease. This we are going to give a crease. This we are going to fold it inside. This we are going to give a crease. And this goes up. Right? Turn it around. I'll show you again. This part, point also we have to show it. See this again. Yeah, ice cream cone. You open this part over here. Pull this one leaf. And let it come out. Okay. This crease is here. This crease you fold over here. This you crease you fold here and this crease you fold out here. See? Looks like this. With the triangle in the center. We are going to do this again. Yeah? I am going to show this again to you. Last what we did was we were here. We were here. This we said was an ice cream cone. So we ate the ice cream and we folded it down here. Once we fold it out here, okay? Everybody said this is ice cream cone. Yes, valley fold, bit late. Okay, so now after we do this, what we're going to do is we'll open this out. This leaf which is here, this leaf which is here, we pull it up. While we pull this up, what is happening is, see this lower portions, we, have, we already have a valley mountain fold. So you get down on the mountain fold and this fold you'll have to do a new mountain fold and gets done like this right can you see this turn it around this triangle is inside here we'll open this leaf on either sides we'll take this out and take it out here yeah 
Again, we give it leisure. We give it leisure. Right? Okay. Now, and you can see this vertical. Now remember, this, this triangle has to be up. It cannot go down. You don't fold it down. You have to keep this up. You have to remember which side goes up. Okay? Once you do this, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it out like this. This leaf, which is here, you fold it on the reverse leaf. This leaf, which is here, you fold it on the outside. So now your object starts looking like this. Yeah. Something like bull horn. Can you see something like a bull horn? Some two horns are up. Yeah. Okay. Can you see this? Can anybody confirm that you have got until this level? Horn. Yes. Correct. It looks like two horns. Can you see two horns? Yeah. So if you have got this two horns, then you are right. So again, okay, okay. Yes, so a lot of people got the horn, right? Okay. So anyway, fine, once. Now, we did last until here. We said this was the cone, ice cream cone. And uh, we did until here, you know. So we folded this, we folded this, and we twisted out over here to make into horn. Now, what we're going to do is, this lower leaf, we are just going to push it up. And the other side leaf also, we are going to push it up. Right? Now, what we are going to do is, again, fold this back here. Fold this back here. Yeah. And push this out. Here in line with this edge, right? This edge, this internal point, you open it out and you like this. Got it? I'm going to show you this last part again because there's a lot of con uh, it always gets confusing. Yeah, we did until here, remember. Two horn till here we are okay. Now at this two horn we have lifted this up. We have lifted this up over here, and then we again close it on the other side. Now you can see there are four leaf which are stuck inside. Two on outer edge, two inside edge. Inside one leaf will open it out over here, and this leaf also will open it out. To match, if you see, it matches with this edge, right? Now, we are almost ready for the bird. This we will work out as a beak. This will work out as a tail. Now, how we work out as a beak is, there are a lot of ways of making beak. We'll, today, we are going to make a simple beak. Yeah. Simple beak like this. Okay, but that's not yet done. Yeah, this we have folded. Can you see this fold? Yes. Now open this out and push this inside. Can you see this? Ah, the bird is ready. Okay. Bird is ready with the wings up. Bird is ready. Now what we are going to do is, if you see, there is one edge here and there is a neckline here of the bird. So we will fold this leaf, the wings over here like this. See, from here to here we fold the wing and again from here to here we fold the wing. 
Yeah. Done already. Nandini, that's very nice. Yeah. Okay. Nitin, where are you stuck? Okay. We'll still show you again. Yeah. Can you see the bird now? Yeah. This is the most popular called origami bird. Yeah. Crane. Rather, it's called the crane, origami crane. That's the right thing. Okay. Fine. Now, did you get it? Everybody get it? Nitin, I'm going to repeat for you. Okay. Guys, I need to understand. Have you got it? Yes, no, yes, no. Come on, fast. Guys, fast. Uh, that's very nice. Arshita, very good. You got this bird. Okay. Right, okay. So, uh, shall, I, shall I show you this Nitin again for you? Okay, the so same bird. I'm going to fold it out and show it to you again. Got it? Wow, Nitin, you got it. Okay, very nice. Good, good. Almost everybody got it. Very good. Very good. Yes. Oh, very nice. I can see four yes, four ups, very good. Shilpa, very good. Got it, huh? Okay. So guys, let us know how your experience was. How did you all enjoy it? Did you like this? Let me know. If you liked it, just say yes. Was it easy to do? Or you want to do something more difficult next time? Oh, wow. It was fun. Very good, Nitin. At last you could get it. Doctor, can I hear something from you, doctor? Very good. Okay. Hope you had hope you had good fun. Let's let's have a big round of applause and many thanks to PNG and Toy. Please check out check out and show your videos or show your models that you do. Please post them on the iConnect channel, hashtag remote life. Okay, you got it? And please, if possible, yes, teach to your parents, your grandparents. They'll be equally very happy to learn this art of folding. Have fun. Stay at home and stay safe. Bye-bye. Let's catch up again.